time now is 8:20. Today is America American Family Day rather. Find time today to spend time together. If a family member is miles away, then make sure to reach out to them and let them know that you're thinking of them. Blanca Cobb, who has a master's degree in psychology and I are going to talk about families this morning. Blanca, how have families changed over the course of the past few years? The biggest thing about families that have changed over the years and that is that there is no longer a traditional family with mom and dad and kids. Let me back up. There are several traditional families still, but what I'm trying to say is that it's broader than that, meaning that there, there are a lot of blended families, step parents and stepchildren. There's also many more same sex parents in a family. There's also people who consider close friends as part of the family. So the definition of family has just brought in more than the traditional nuclear family family that we're used to. And are there benefits to having that broader definition of family? Yes, when when there is a broad definition of family, then it is people learn that you love more people, support can come from other people, that it isn't just mom, dad, or your siblings, that love and support can come from anyone, from anywhere at any time. And, it, and it's just, it warms your heart, particularly if you've had some difficulty with certain members of your family. And it, it, it helps decrease that feeling of isolation and loneliness because you know that there are other people out there who may not be related to you by blood, but it's that focus on relationships. And looking at the kids, what's the potential impact on children to have a broader definition of family? They learn to love and accept more people. That there is no traditional families. Families don't look at look like one type because it's so broad now. And if for whatever reason they don't have a, a strong relationship with someone in their family that they can turn to other people. And not only can they turn to other people, but they can be accepting of other people. And so to me, what happens, it's, it's like this domino effect, because when you love one person and you accept a, a person for who they are, then you can't help but do that for other people. So it becomes this societal openness, if you will, and accepting. It's more likely to lead to that. Mm, I love that. Well, thank you, Blanca. You can continue this conversation with her on our Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, Body Language Expert.